Hello and welcome to yet another one of my on the bench videos. This is a Rega Planet CD player. We are playing the hardest track with um, things painted on it. And now we'll do the interruption in the data layer just to prove that it plays well and interpolates. So that's that's about it as far as its ability to to do that. You can see that it has a um, huge faults on it, purposely made faults. And uh, as far as its ability to play CDR, here we have a CDR on which I've written that uh, this not finalized and displayed in Philips will not play on most CD players. So we'll see how it will handle that. As you see, Rega Planet is a the, the top loader with a nice uh, Star Trek type uh, tray. Now most C players won't even read that. It, it takes some time, but there it is. So we can play that, hopefully. Yeah, now it received the command. And it plays well. And we can skip tracks. On some CD players it wouldn't um, register, the counter wouldn't register even if the music was coming out, but in here it works very well. Each track. So what was wrong with it? The only thing that was wrong with it was this um, motor that drives the uh, laser up and down the disc. Um, it's a two dollar motor, but um, it just went faulty. This is a very nice sounding player. This is a very nice sounding player and a very analog. It has a Sanyo laser SF101 or SFP101 in, I think. Uh, there, are, there is a remote for it here. Should you wish to see it? Well, I don't know whether it's visible, but the surface is not perfect, but it's by no means bad. It's it's a very good, um, maybe I'll give it a bit more light. It's a very good looking player. Overall, there's no scratches on it and the, and the glass here is almost pristine. So uh, this shortly will be available for sale. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.